In a significant move, the National Medical Commission or the NMC, India's medical education regulator, has made it mandatory for all medical colleges to register patients using their Ayushman Bharat health accounts or ABHA IDs. This registration will be done in addition to the hospital registration number. So, while patients are not going to be denied treatment because they do not have ABHA IDs, this means that all decisions related to medical colleges from the academic year 2025 to 2026, be it regarding the uh, number of seats in a medical college or annual renewals or NMC recognition, all of this will be based on the number of patients registered via ABHA IDs. So what does this mean? Since colleges will now be assessed based on the number of ABHA registrations done by them, the institutions may be compelled to digitize patient records regardless of whether they have the infrastructure or the data privacy measures in place. This means that the directive could have far-reaching impact on patient data privacy and the assessment of nearly 700 medical colleges across the country. Now, another concern aside from all of this is the patient consent and the access to the personal data. The NMC has stated that it will have details like the number of patients visiting the hospital from different regions, the prevalent health problems and disease patterns across cities and states accessible to them. However, it is unclear whether patients will be made aware that their data will be collected and processed in such a manner. Under the Digital Personal Data Protection Act of 2023, all entities are required to obtain the consent of any user before collecting or processing personal data. Now, the Act also exempts government entities, but the notification that is supposed to list the exempt entities is not released yet. So, this leaves uncertainty over whether healthcare entities are also exempt. Furthermore, neither the NMC nor the report clarifies the level of access of medical students for the patient data. So, will medical uh, students be able to access identifiers like name, age, gender? This is a question. Further, India currently lacks specific laws for the protection of anonymized data or even health data because the Data Protection Act fails to address these forms of personal data in detail. So, because of this, we have a few follow-up questions uh, regarding this new circular that has come out by the NMC. First of all, how will the NMC ensure that patient consent is obtained before data collection and processing? Second, what measures will be taken to protect patient privacy and prevent misuse of the sensitive health data? Will there be any mechanism for patients to opt out of having their data processed or shared in such a way? What steps is the government taking to develop a robust legal framework for the protection of health data itself? And how will the NMC ensure that medical colleges have the necessary infrastructure and the expertise to handle patient data securely? Because at the end of the day, the NMC's directive for mandatory ABHA IDs, or rather ABHA ID registration, may streamline the healthcare process in India, that is true. But it also raises concern about patient data privacy, consent, and the readiness of medical colleges to handle such data. As India progresses towards digitizing healthcare, addressing these issues is important. And this can only be done through comprehensive legislation and inf infrastructural development. Now, we will be closely following the developments on this front, but for now, I'm Valerie Sansgiri from Media Nama. And for more information on all things tech policy, please subscribe to Media Nama.